welcome back to my channel everyone on the menu today i have some jamaican style chicken foot soup stay tuned hashtag i'm a big deal <laughs> I'm a big deal Very, very, very important for Yeah, I know For some of you who think Oh my god, chicken foot, chicken feet Whatever you call it But me said chicken foot Yeah, what I do is I'm going to pressure this down What I've done is You know the bit with the little claw I literally cut that off So no, we don't eat that part of the chicken Now to speed up the process, I'm just going to pressure this for about 15 minutes. Whilst that's pressuring, I'm also, I've am also i got another pot with my chicken boiling because I am adding chicken to this as well. Now these are all the food provisions that I'll be using. I've got some pumpkin, I've got some rice, chow chow, got you know, a few quokka, got my grace cock soup, my carrot scallion pepper thyme i got my flour over here ready you know with some cornmeal in it to make the dumpling them i've also got some pimento over here that i've just crushed you can just crush it with the um end of a rolling pin or a or a bottle now when my chicken foot has fresh finished pressuring i'm gonna add it to the pot with the chicken now all i'm doing now i'm just removing some of the water because as you know when you put the food provisions in you know when i want the pot for you you know overflow and all of that and all of that so just gonna take out some of the water now what i like to do is go in with some of the pumpkin at first um you'll see why later and also when you're making your soup you will notice that you know because this meat a lot of fat has gathered on the top so i just do like to go through with a spoon and skim off as much as i possibly can if you don't do that that's just gonna make your soup really really oily and yeah them suck their bone stomach recipe we're not doing that over here eh -eh, nope now what i like to do after i added the pumpkin maybe about five five minutes after i do like to go in and put in my dumpling first now once i put in the dumpling i leave that for about another five minutes then i'll go in with my you know yam and all of them things and things and things now i do like to cut them you know bite-sized pieces because yeah the big piece of yam and dumpling in the plate no not working on my plate none at all none at all none at all you know i just like to go down with my spoon and come up straight into my mouth yeah Now, once I let this boil, I let this boil for about 10 minutes. Now, what I like to do at this moment is just go through, you know, and just mix up the pucker. You know, so sometimes the dumpling tend to kind of settle at the bottom and we don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot. So I just do like to go through and just give it a good stir. Now, whilst I'm doing this as well, I'm going to go ahead and crush some of the pumpkin. Now, crushing the pumpkin is totally optional, but I like to do this because I find that it just gives the soup a really rich, vibrant color that i love to see can you see that color is just already starting to you know just to peak through a little bit now the chicken that i'm using i'm just using some leg and thigh in this now what i like to do as well is just go through and just break up that chicken um just a little bit because i don't chop it up before i put it in the soup so whilst the soup is cooking once the chicken's cooked just go through and just you know break that up a bit now, this is totally optional but you know this is what shelly likes to do now after another say five six minutes worth of boiling i do like to go through with my time now you know sometimes the time get away in the pot so i do like to tie it you know with another with a sprig 
round the bun so it stays together sometimes it stays together sometimes it don't stay together but you know what yet it going like that now i'm also gonna add um, my crushed pimento i'm gonna add my spring onion my scotch bonnet pepper and so forth now after i put this seasoning in i leave it for about another five six minutes to let it boil then i go ahead and add in my noodle soup now i'm using the grace cock soup brand now what i do is because this noodle you know it has a lot of noodles in it and it does make your soup quite thick i don't like when my soup is is too thick so what i do is i go in with a packet and then any other packets that i'm putting in i put it in a cup mix it round then you know mix it all out then strain it and put it into the pot now i like to use i I would say I use maybe one and a half packets of cock soup per one litre of liquid. If you're new to my channel guys thank you so much for coming if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Now if you are using this method be sure to know that sometimes you know I, the noodle will kind of clump to the bottom of the cup so just make sure you just give that a good mix now sometimes what i like to do i like to put it back in the cup put some more liquid on it stir it again because you must it over here so when i like for waste nothing i will like forget everything out of the money so yeah we're just gonna stir that back up and strain that back through the pot now once i put my noodle in i let this simmer for about eight minutes and then your soup should be ready now at this moment when everything's done you know you can go ahead and remove all the scallion and the thyme and you know the scotch bonnet if you don't want it to burst and all of them something but if you know if it's a pepper if he's a pepper person then you know you can just just leave that in the pot or furthermore some people like to just burst the pepper in the pot but yeah we ain't doing that over here <laughs> now this is how i like my soup can you see that it's just really just like how i like soup not thick you know not clumpy just you know when you know when you drink this soup like this you you, 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 you have to belch it is guaranteed that you are going to release some gas and there you have it guys my chicken foot soup ready like guys look at the color look at the color of that soup mm -mm -mm -mm. and i'm telling you this was totally totally delicious guys i love soup on a whole give me soup every day i will drink it without fear like and this chicken foot soup listen mm -hmm. Make sure you comment down below and tell me what you think about this. And thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, to aim high, work hard, but smart. Because the sky's the limit and only you can limit yourself. Catch you in the next video. Bye.